Once again, this is the main event of Kumong Bolanon 13. At stake is the IBF Mini Flyweight World Title Eliminator for number one. We have our three judges scoring at ringside. We have Judge Sanong International Judge Sanong Om Im of Thailand. International Judge Jonathan Davis of California, USA. International Judge Nabuto Ikehara of Japan. Our official ring physician for this title eliminator, Dr. Rene Bunsubre. We have our official timekeepers at the bell, Mark Jason Gardose and Red Hementiza. Our promoter for this championship or title eliminator, we have attorney Floresel Echavez Podot and our supervisor for the IBF, Mr. Felix Rex J. Flores Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, international referee, attorney Danrex Tapdasan, who will give instruction to our boxers after the introduction. Introducing first on the blue corner, official weight, 104.8 pounds, professional record, 15 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw with 12 of his wins, came by way of knockout. He is ranked number 4 in the world in the IBF. He is the former IBF world champion from Libon Albay fighting out of Elorde Fight Team. Let's make some noise for Pedro Kid General Tadura. And his opponent across the ring on the red corner. Official weight 103 pounds. Professional record 14 wins with four losses and one draw with three of his wins came by way of knockout. He is the former WBF Asia Pacific minimum weight champion, the former WBO Asia Pacific minimum weight champion, the current Philippine minimum weight champion. He is ranked number three in the world in the International Boxing Federation. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake El Bambino Amparo. International referee attorney Dan Rex Tabdasan will now give instruction to our boxers. Partner, the long wait is over. Um, and all Siguro, Filipino tussle uh, for the number one spot in the IBF mini flyweight uh, division. Jake El Bambino Amparo against Kid time. Pedro General. Pedro Taduran. This is it for all the marbles for the number one spot. Yes, partner, and the narrative behind this uh, eliminator is also something to be uh, shared ano, to our Round viewers. Round number one. Uh, Jake Amparo openly uh, looks up to Pedro Taduran as yes. one of his idols. So this is really a dream fight for him. At the same time, Pedro Taduran coming uh, back here uh, for the eliminator, uh, hoping for a resurgence for his career. Nice body to by uh, Amparo to start the festivities of this fight. Like the old saying goes, styles makes fight. Which which file style will uh, show right. up uh, that today? We all know that uh, Jay Camparo is a stylist. Yes. Uh, he's a very technically sound boxer. At the same time, Pedro Taduran is a come forward fighter. He will just mull you and just destroy you. So it's really an interesting. Sabi mo nga, styles make fights. Which style? Uh, Taduran is trying to pin uh, Amparo to the corners, partner. Alam natin, alam natin yan. That, that, that's a style of uh, Pedro Taduran. Exactly. Good job uh, for Amparo for that uh, that defense. You know, he has that high guard. He's always quick to step back. But Pedro Taduran only knows one movement. It's moving forward. 
Many just, people are uh, sorry, partner. Many yeah, exactly. people are uh, saying that um, Pedro Taduran has a uh, more experience uh, than uh, Jake Amparo. Yes, uh, that definitely yes. But Amparo has also fair share of experience. He fought in uh, Vietnam, and he he win. And he fought in South Africa, and he win. And he fought in Japan also, and won the fight. So I think. Uh, there's a small, small narrow gap uh, between the two in terms of experience. Definitely. Uh, in terms of caliber, probably, that's what they say that Pedro Taduran has the advantage. But in terms of number, I think Taduran is only uh, two fights uh, or has two fights more than uh, Jake Amparo. So this is well matched, a good stylistic f uh, matchup. And partner, can you explain how this eliminator happens? Para sa mga nanonood, to our viewers who want to know more about what the implication is of this world title eliminator. Well, in IBF, uh, number one and number two is uh, constantly vacant. So the second highest uh, ranking, which is uh, Jake Amparo, the, the third one, and the fourth uh, rank, Pedro Taduran, that's why they come up with the eliminator. The winner of this fight will fight uh, the Japanese fighter, um, who is the IBF world champion, who beat uh, Daniel Baladares for the title. Exactly. And you are watching Pedro Tadoran in the black and red shorts, Amparo in the white and blue shorts. I know you guys are as excited as we are, so please like and share this video. Yes. Let's watch some of the action on your screen from the previous round. It's a pretty, pretty close uh, round uh, on round number one. It's, it's definitely very hard to score that uh, round the one. But we have a, a good experienced international uh, referee. Second I mean, sound. judges Second who will give us a good uh, judging today yes and we are uh, round into number two round two Pedro Todoran in the black and red trunks Jake Amparo in the white and blue trunks so far Jake Amparo is very elusive and um, at the same time uh, Pedro Todoran with that high guard with that active guard just slipping his way to land his power shots against uh, Jay Camparo. You know, El Bambito is meaning of uh, the nickname of, um, of Jay Camparo is a uh, little baby. Uh, right. He's seemingly like a baby face uh, assassin there. At the same time, yeah. Pedro Taduran, Pedro Taduran's moniker is Kid General. So it's an, uh, also an allusion to oh, a child. Yes. Pareho silang baby face partner. Yeah. Behind that uh, baby face is a is, uh, warrior. They both battled uh, uh, all around the world. There's a, a little swelling on the left uh, portion of the forehead of Jake Amparo. Right, but uh, so far it's nothing significant. Mm. The, the corners of, Padur, of Pedro Tadoran is trying to ache him on. <laughs> To go inside and probably hit the body of uh, Jake Amparo. You are absolutely right. Body shots wow, for Amparo Pedro. Is, uh, com coming forward. Amparo using the ropes well. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, Stiff uh, right uh, straight from Jake Amparo. At the same time, they straight to the body oh, by Oh, nice Pedro. combination by Amparo, partner. There Head you to have the body it. combination. Padura is continually stalking. Right. Uh, maybe that's the right, the word. right term uh, for today. Stalk Jake Amparo and try to uh, size, uh, size him up. Exactly. Maybe. Neutralize that movement because we all know Jake Amparo uh, uses movement. It's good in, 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 in racking up on points. Body, nice body combination by uh, Jake Amparo. I mean by Pedro Taduran. Oh, 
He is trying to pound the body of Jake Amparo. You know, Pedro Tabur, Padur, Padur, Tabur, I'm sorry, I Pedro Taduran has never changed his game plan ever since, partner. Despite of that, you could not study Pedro Taduran very well in the fight itself. Exactly, because yeah, Pedro responds as with any boxer, you know, he responds with the situation. And round number two. In the corner of uh, Pedro Taduran, Coach Carl Peñalosa. In the corner of uh, Jay Camparo is Coach Nino Halnais. Battle of minds, partner. Battle of minds yes. because game plan is very important in this fight. And the third man in the ring is uh, attorney Dan Rex Tapdasan. Um, heading to the round number three. You could sense the tenseness of, of here in, 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 in Bohol, partners. Yes. Um, we all know that um, they respect Pedro Taduran because out. he's Second a world out. caliber. And At the same time, I partner, yes. um, yeah. Sorry, the, sorry for that. They're seeing Round. their Round. own fighter uh, trying to catch that uh, elusive uh, uh, title Round. fight. And at the same time, uh, Jake Amparo, at the beginning of his career, uh, started out as a diamond in the rough. And with a little polishing, with some fights that tested him, he is shining in the world stage already. And he has gained the spot to, to, to face uh, Pedro Taduran right now. Alma partner, few people did ask me um, what's probably... The, the, the best, the best uh, advice we could give to Jake Amparo it's, it's not, do not respect uh, Pedro Tadoran in the ring because if he does, yes, yes. medyo mahirapan siya. Exactly, yeah. that's the best advice and at the same time, always be defensively responsible. Oh, body upper by Pedro Tadoran. Because a nice counter by yeah. Jake Amparo. Ang ganda -gandang oh, oh yeah. wow, they are just exchanging inside the pocket. Uppercut, double uppercut by Pedro, pummeling the body of Jake. Jake was able to get out. Pero ang nilalaro nila, ilaro ni Pedro yan, partner. Right. Yeah. I think Jake must come back and go back to his side to side movement, partner. What a nice action pack by two Filipino warriors. Exactly, Taduran wow. at the front foot. Jake Amparo count, playing the counter game right now. Wow, Pedro Taduran bulldozing his way. A nice counter by Jake Amparo. Wow, this is an all Filipino affair. So guys in the, who are watching us live right now, share this video. Share the, uh, the, the, the joy oh, of nice watching uppercut this by fight. Taduran. There you have it. Uh, Jake Amparo wow, a in left the by corner. Taduran. Showing good body movement is Amparo. But Taduran is just too much. Just pummeling the body. Ripping that. What a nice. Amparo wow. answers with hooks of his own. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Just Pedro de Turan is just punching at close range right now. Just overwhelming uh, Jacob Paro. But Jacob Paro uses body movement and that counter straight. Oh, he, a paro is pinned in the corner. But how tough is wow. Jake, partner? How tough is El Bambino? Second, this could be in the making of a fight of the year, partner. Exactly. Oh, oh wow. Up until the bell, partner, the just all action from these two top caliber minimum partner, weights. Partner, 
bago, na, bago tayo maging excited dito sa laban na to, this will not be possible without PMI Bohol Boxing Promotion, Kumong Balanon 13. Hindi to mangyayari without uh, Attorney Flores El Podot, who is the main promoter of this fight card. Exactly. And of course, we would also like to uh, uh, thank everyone who watched this fight live here at the Bohol Wisdom Gymnasium. We have a full crowd here and kanina nasaksihan din yung raffle natin. Yes. Congratulations to everyone who won. I, I think there's a two lady who won a brand new motorcycle partner. Yes, and on your screen are some of the highlights as okay. we resume the action partner. Round number four. Round number four of the scheduled 12 round fight partner. Starting out the same uh, with Taduran using that jab. Oh, left by Taduran. Oh! Oh, wow. Just body shot after body shot uh, from uh, Kid General. Amparo using his legs to get out of that. Uh, oh, good counter nice by, by Amparo. Alam mo, partner, both of them have something to prove today. Yes, definitely. Jake Amparo wants to prove that is at the same caliber as Pedro Taduran. At the same time, Pedro Taduran wants to prove that he still has it in him to be a world champion. This is a dream fight for Jake Amparo, partner. He is trying, hanging it on, and giving everything. Oh, what a combination by Pedro Taduran. He's just softening up Jake Amparo with those body shots. Oh, malik naman yung Amparo partner. Exactly. Yeah. The mental toughness of uh, both of them, ano, Taduran with that game plan. And at the same time, Jake Amparo just... But I, I am a bit very surprised that Jake Amparo slug... Slug it on with, with Pedro Taduran. He has a tendency to do that. Remember yeah. his fight in Vietnam? Yeah. Same style as Pedro, no? He was... Uh, he he uh, also uh, turned off his stylist mode and uh, full-on fighter mode. At that time. Oh, what a body combination by Taduran. Oh, the body will probably swell tomorrow, partner. Both of these fighters oh, wow. are hitting exactly. their bodies. Oh, what a combination again by, um, by Taduran. Taduran. Taduran is able to sneak that uppercut in between the guard. So even if Amparo has that high guard, you know, Taduran is trying to, to break through that. There you have it. Two shots to the body and then up in the middle. Good job by Amparo to use that jab. That body will, will take a stall on, on Amparo a little bit later. I think Pedro Taduran is investing to the body right now. Exactly. Just to remind everybody, this is scheduled for 12, 12 rounds. rounds. Yes. How, what a way to end uh, the year 2023 partner with this classic matchup. If you're a boxing fan, you know how much of uh, excitement <laughs> it has brewed for this fight. Kung anong kaya mo, kaya ko din. Yes, exactly. <laughs> wow! End of round number four. End of round four. Who will be the number one mandatory challenger mm. for the IBF World Title? That will that will be answered tonight here mm. in Kumong Bolanon 13. Again, this uh, event is uh, given to you by PMI Bohol Boxing uh, Promotion. Um, headed by Attorney Floricel uh, Podot. Uh, we are live here in Bohol Wisdom School Gym Gym, gym, gym Gymnasium, sorry, Tagbilaran City. Third man in the ring, Attorney Dandrex Tapdasan. Mm. We have our international judges second down, second for down. tonight's uh, eliminator bout. I think there's one Thailander. I one Japanese judge and uh, one uh, Round number five. from the U.S. From US. Round number five. 
Uh, number five, Taduran still at the front foot. Amparo is able to get out of the corner, which is good. Nice counter by Amparo. Of Again, course, yeah. Taduran is going to the body. Just a little background, ano? I think uh, uh, Jake Amparo's sparring partner for this bout is Marco Rementito, yes. right? While uh, Pedro Taduran also had the help of Erson Trinidad. And R.R. Andales. And R.R. Andales for this fight. Nice, Jake! Nice, Yes, of course, uh, Ed, Sir Ed Taduran, the pride of Bicol. Uh, Pedro Taduran, ito namang si Jake Amparo is the pride of uh, Gindulman Bohol. Iba din bumoto yung taduran, apat lima. Right. Then bibigyan ka pa sa katawan. And always, always with the right distance. Yeah. But Amparo using his body movement, his youth, his, his excellent conditioning to try to evade those punches. But kudos to Jake Amparo. He is doing a good counter game uh, dito sa laban na to. He's countering very well, partner. Four body shots and one shot up top by uh, Taduran. Amparo gets out. Oh, three left by Pedro Taduran. Binawihan naman siya ng one-two ni Jake Amparo. Exactly. Oh. That long uppercut oh. of Amparo is actually really good. Ano? Yeah. If he can land that. I'm sure, partner, it is very hard to score this fight, partner. Exactly. Oh. Uh, Ano ba? Walang clinch-clinch eh, oh, partner. Wala, wala. Oh. It's really just... Oh. Uh, uh, old passion partner exactly. na slobber knocker. Close range or mid-range fight between these two boxers. Thank you. Thank you to those watching us abroad. have it, Amparo going to the body, Taduran also going to the body partner and going to the straight at the jaw of uh, wow. Jake Amparo. Hindi ba napapagod tong dalawang to? Hindi, mukhang hindi. They prepared for this. Both of them took this job seriously. Both of them want to be a mandatory challenger for this division. One, two by Amparo. Taduran is able to counter with two hooks up top. Both of them did withstand the bumps that they given to each other, partner. Again, let's watch some of the action from that round. One, two by Taduran. Good uh, body movement by Amparo to evade some of, the, of those punches. Overhand uppercut from Taduran. Salamat partner sa la mga na nanonood uh, at nagsuporta dito sa live stream ng uh, PMI Bohol Boxing Promotion Kumong Bulanon 13. Second sound. Second sound. We're heading to the midpoint of this uh, classic or soon to be classic right uh, round barn burner six. between Pedro Tadoran and Jake Amparo same same uh, banana Pedro Tadoran moving at the front foot with a jab Amparo trying to create some distance with his own jabs parang ma Parang easy ang job ni Attorney Danrex sa Piyasa. Walang, walang nag-i-clinch eh. Exactly. <laughs> oh, what a 4-5 combination by Jake Amparo. Ah, nice left by, um, by uh, Taduran. And again with the left. There you have it, uh, Pedro Taduran trying to outmuscle Amparo. Amparo gets out of the corner. 
jab to the body and straight to the head by uh, Taduran. Amparo answers with his own body shot. Wow. Counter by Jake right there. Partner, I, round six, palang tayo. I almost lost my breath already, partner. Exactly. There you have it, Taduran going to the body first, and then ending that combination with either a hook or an uppercut up uh, in the middle of the chest. Nag-iba na talaga yung evolution ng 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 amparo partner. Exactly. Um, oh, nice combination by Taduran. Yung Pedro Taduran, marami rin bumato partner eh. Exactly. So, it's more harder for the judges to score. Exactly. They're both... Uh, Hindi siya pa isa-isa eh. Oh, uh, yan, oh. Volume punching for both boxers. Oh. There you have it. And he's using... Look at that. He's using... Uh, he's framing his hand so that yeah. Jay can't get out of the corner. Kung tinatawag natin, may konting gulang partner, no? Oh naman. Oh. I mean, that's part of, of boxing, mm. ano? Using your body... Uh, using the clinches, but right now there's no clinch in this fight. Yeah. Oh, a sneaky, sneaky uppercut by Taduran. A nice one-two combination by Amparo. The, he's having success in that, I know. When yeah, he sets up yeah. that, that straight to the body yeah, with a jab. White butter. Now you're welcome to to uh, comment. I know if if you have uh, that much knowledge in boxing, maybe you're a boxing judge or maybe you were a former boxer. No. So you guys, thank you for your predictions. You can type them on the comment yes, section. Yes. Oh, you can naman. also rally behind your favorite boxer. Mm. Just keep your comments respectful. An incoming round number seven of this uh, IBF Eliminator. Second sound. Between uh, Second sound. Pedro Taduran and El Pampino. Jake Amparo. Round number seven. Round seven na tayo. number seven, partner. Again, Taduran opening this round with jabs, with stiff jabs. Kung, a street that got through yeah. for Pedro. Ika nga, second half of the fight, the partner. Right. Um, no knockdown. No knockdown. It's a, it's a slip. It's a rare... <laughs> The thing that nag 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 breaks your every top does a partner. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm. You know, uh, some people call Taduran the little Tyson or the Tyson. But I think, yeah, he shares some similarities and style. But certainly, Pedro Taduran is carving a name for himself already. And as is Jay Camparo, no partner. A lot of people has been criticizing him or on social media him. Or yeah. mislook him. because of his size, but yeah. he has uh, had an upset in Japan. Ano? Yeah, and he he win in South Africa, partner. Exactly. By decision, a shot out decision. A street by uh, Pedro Taturan that landed flush. Yun partner always always setting up that that uppercut to the middle. Is what Pedro does. Jake Amparo using that jab, creating the distance that he needs. Hello, partner. I seen Pedro Taduran. Some of his uh, great fights. Ngayon, medyo marami na siyang bumato partner. Exactly. Oh. And really, he's gonna overwhelm you. And he is leaving everything in the ring, partner. Ayaw niya na ng ng uh, medyo siguro may trauma yan sa decision, partner. Exactly. Oh. And at the same time, Jake Amparo is engaging in the firefight. 
pero he has al- also have some um, movement. Hindi lang siya nag-stay sa pocket eh. Exactly. He's moving around and trying to... You know, uh, in this kind of a fight, both boxers' conditioning is a big factor. How much uh, they have in the gas tank because we have full 12 rounds, partner. I wonder if Jake Amparo ever reached the 12th round. Um, yes, I think so, in the yeah. Philippine title. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. So, kasi ma- ma- malaking edge siguro kung ano. Because I think Pedro has a several 12 round fight na rin. Right. And of round number seven. Salamat, salamat sa lahat ng nanonood at uh, nagsuporta dihi sa laban ni Jake Amparo and um, Pedro Taduran. Sabi nga nila, whoever wins, the Philippines wins. Exactly. And the Philippines have a shot mm-hmm. at a world title. So, malaman na lang natin kung who will be the one, one Filipino who will make it to their world title dreams. And of course, this is Rika Aquino with me, Alvin Esco, trying to break down the fights to you. Of course, we can side with one fighter. We have to show to you the fights as it goes along. We are not perfect. Uh, try to correct us if, if we are wrong. Uh, salamat po. And uh, I think... Round number eight. Round number eight, partner. Same, same, same banana. Pedro Tadran moving forward, setting up his body shots with that jab. I think this is a modern day Pedro Tadran partner. Yeah, because yeah. he also has uh, improved his, his defense, you know? yeah. his active guard. At the same time, we all know Jake Amparo can, can be a fighter too. You know, he's a stylist, but then when he wants to engage, he will engage. Mm. Because before, you could outbox uh, Pedro Tadran, but right now, he is good in cutting the ring and um, will punch you in bunches. And just overwhelming uh, uh, pressure, partner. Nice counter by Jake Amparo. The right counter was uh, delivered by Jake Amparo. Oh, that left! By Taduran. Yes, uh, for a moment there, uh, Jay Camparo was uh, snapped back with that punch. Oh, again, that right counter connecting for Jay Camparo. Double jab straight to the body by Pedro Taduran. A counter uh, left by uh, Jay Camparo. Alam mo, nakausap ko si Jay Camparo. Ito raw yung sukatan niya. Kung sa pangarap niya ay eh, matutupad. Kung if, if he happened to hurdle uh, Pedro Taduran, I think his dream uh, will, will, will hopefully come true. Kasi ito nga ang panukat niya. At the same time, Pedro Taduran is entering the ring ni- right now inspired. He has his wife here in the hall also. And the whole uh, Elorde team behind him. And I think Pedro Tadoran don't want this fight to slip away uh, dito sa kanya. This is, is another chance to be a world champion. Another world caliber boxer watching us right now. World title challenger Garin Diagan is watching us. Alam mo, not because yung yung because yung hiyaw ng tao uh, it adds uh, motivation para sa mga home homegrown na, na, na talent partner pero tayo dahil pareho natin yung kaibigan to parang right. nag-hold back tayo partner oh, naman. hopefully walang, masya- walang mangyari aksidente sa laban na to and both of them 
are are soundly safe up in this point. For the information of the viewers, partner, no, we are both commentators for Elorde TV and here in Kumong Bolanon. So we are in the perfect middle yes. ground. Uh, as always. As always. As always, uh, you know. Oh, Jesse Espinas is, is watching us right now. Shout out daw. Ang sarap daw lumaban sa minimum weight. Uh, okay. Again, a respect in the comment section. We will not tolerate any disrespect against any boxer, especially world title yes. challenges. Yes, wag, wag po. Wag naman po. Uh, yun eh, kapwa natin Pilipino. Wag po. Here we go. Round 9, partner. Four more rounds to go. Alam mo yung accumulated one two of Taduran. It's just Taduran. How about the counter right of Jake Amparo partner? Exactly, no. Joey Kanoy is also watching us. I mean, all the the boxing uh, industries. Who's who is watching us right now? One of the best, uh, one of five fighter, Joey Kanoy partner. Oh, that body. That digging body by Pedro Taduran. Exactly. Jake Amparo answers with that uh, ripping uh, right hook. Taduran answers with three. Oh, that really? body shot. Up in the middle by Taduran. You know what's also noteworthy about these two boxers is their use of light punches combined with uh, with hard punches. Partner, come my compu box. I think back right. week we will came close. Exactly. To the record, partner, thinking go yes, with the yes. way these two fighters punch each other. Exactly. Ah, oh, body by the Duran, followed by one two again. Mukhang magka-comeback si Joey Lino sa minimum weight ha. Wow. Ganda daw ng laro sa minimum weight. Wow! wow! Pedro Taduran! Wow! Breaking the guard of Jake Amparo with that uppercut in the middle. I may, I am a believer of Jake Amparo. He is slugging it out with Pedro Taduran. From round one up till now, partner. Taduran at the same time showing us that, oh wow! That sneaky uh, left by Taduran. It goes to the body with that oh, right. Oh, that left of Taduran. These two elite fighters, partner, are showing the world what Filipino is made of. Exactly. We can all disagree with all we want, but we all will agree this is a good fight. Partner, sa tingin mo, candidate sa fight of the year, partner. Of course, of course. Oh, what a counter and a body for Amparo. Sa mga tao na who don't know boxing, ano, sometimes you give a round or you try to, to, to taper down in a round doesn't mean that you're gassing out, ano? Lalo yung mga lumalaban ng 12 rounds dyan, ha, makakaalam. How we pace ourselves in a 12-round bout. Mahirap, mahirap malaman kung hindi ka boxer. So, uh, para sa mga boxer na nanonood sa ating uh, comment section, shout out and kudos to all of you. This is a rarity. Nanonood ang isang uh, magaling na journalist sa atin ngayon na si Sir Nick Yongko. Na, Sir Nick? I think he is um, back in the Philippines. Uh, meron na uh, nag-cover siya ng... Uh, Inoue Tapales, isang uh, malaking karangalan uh, ang, ang manood, ang isang Nick Yonko na dating of course, um, of course. na yan ay iniidolo natin partner. Definitely. Mm. Second town. Second town. Round number 10. Round number 10. 
Mr. Jared Verano of uh, the Verano Boxing Club in yeah. Hong Kong is watching salamat, us. Salamat thank you, thank you. I think if you are, if you think you are a great commentator, oh, why don't you do the job, partner? Yeah, uh, exactly. Apply for, for yeah. the job. And if you can see each punch that's coming. If, 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 if you think we made a mistake oh, on doing our commentating, no um, knockdown, no knockdown. No knockdown. <laughs> that you are more capable of doing what we are doing. Definitely. Uh, Counting respeto lang po. Uh, and respect to the boxers uh, fighting right now. Uh, both of them has earned uh, their way to be here. You know, being uh, ranked in uh, a certain organization, you have to have the, or you have to have. Uh, Panabayu, kailangan mamit mo yung criteria. Standard. Yeah, standard. and the standard. Oh. Again, the two boxers are engaging in the ropes. Sabi ni Romeo Brillantes de Sabile, one of the best fight of the year daw to partner. Definitely. Yeah. Alvrax Ordidor compares uh, Pedro Taduran to Roberto Duran. Yes, definitely. Manos del Piedra or yeah. Hands of Stone. Same style, same come forward style. No, RJ Lesari. We uh, do not tell us how to do our job because we don't tell you how to do your job, right? Oh, a, uh, a counter hook up top by Amparo. Taduran stays low. He is staying low conveniently for that uh, for those body shots and for that upper in the middle. Amparo counters with a quick One, two, upper hook. Yes. Nice one-two by Amparo. That one-two was constantly there for Jake Amparo all night. And Taduran similarly with that one to up yes. top, just racking on, just just accumulating damage for that straight and that body shot. I think yung tanong sa atin yung kung merong gas tank yung parehong fighter. I think medyo na sagot na natin parehong merong pa. Right. Yeah. You know, having the gas tank to 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 last a championship match like this. Okay. That's the end of round number ten. Masasagut lang yan eh during the fight because there are so many things involved: physical conditioning, mental fortitude. A lot of things are are in place. Oh, malaming nagsasabi one of the best fight in the Philippines. Ah, uh, yan eh bigay sa atin ang api may bohol uh, boxing promotion kumong bolanon. 13 kindly like and follow the page uh, para maging updated kayo sa kanilang mga future events definitely oh ganyan na lang tayo magkaroon na lang tayo ng interaction kung sinong nakikita nyong lamang sabihin nyo na lang uh, imbis na mag uh, mag uh, mag away away pa tayo dito eh. so, wala namang magiging uh, wala namang mangyayari kung mag-away tayo eh. Isasama lang loob natin na uh, pareho. So we are heading round number 11. Round, we're heading into the championship rounds. Pedro Taduran starts out explosive with that 1-2. What round did Pedro Duran not start with explosiveness? <laughs> I know, I know. Always starting with the round with... Yeah. But, a with but a good counter punching game of Jake Amparo did show us a different facet uh, on this fight, partner. Salamat, salamat, salamat. Nagbibigay ng mga prediction at uh, nalalaman nila kung sino lamang. Eh, very welcome po yan sa comment section ng uh, PMI Bohol uh, Boxing Stable fan page. Just a reminder, adding extra uh, or making this fight more interesting, Pedro Taduran is a southpaw. Jake Amparo, of course, is the right-handed or orthodox boxer. Ang hirap niya, partner, ha? Exactly. Kaliwa sa kanan, kanan sa kaliwa. Oh, so, yung, 
you must have an established good uh, sparring partner uh, to prepare for this fight. Oh, no, man. Both fighters are connecting with this with their different uh, variety of punches. Oh, that uppercut by uh, Pedro Taduran up in the midsection. Amparo moves out from the ropes. Parang hindi na hindi na sagot kung kaninong style kasi both of their styles show up ha, tonight, exactly. partner. Pedro Taduran is also showing us good the head movement and another addition to his arsenal. At the same time, Jake Amparo with a quick counter left. Jab to the body by Taduran. A counter right by Amparo. Thirty-seven seconds left on round number eleven. Again, the number one spot is at stake on this fight between Jake Amparo and Pedro Taduran. Oh wow! Huge left by uh, Pedro Taduran. Jake Amparo ate that. This remains standing, remains fighting inside the pocket. Counter right by uh, Amparo. An uppercut by. Uh, oh wow! Actually, simultaneous uppercuts by both boxers. Wow. It's very difficult to score this fight, partner. It's very difficult. Again, we have three judges. One from, one, one from Japan, one from USA, and one from Thailand. Yes, international judges uh, are with us today. Siguro para magkaroon ng partiality, walang kinuwang Filipino judge this time para mm -hmm. malaman talaga natin. Exactly, exactly. Through the eyes of the foreigner who is the winner of this fight, and we will know it after this round. Sabi ni Archie Margallo, Rica Plaza. For me now, the fight deserve a draw. So probably, ito. Probably, ito na yung uh, last round. Baka ito round na rin yung ano. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last and final round. 12 and final round. I know you don't want this fight to end, but here we are in the... Hindi naman pwede. Hindi uh, <laughs> naman pwede. Just uh, three minutes away from the decision. Oh, Noel Vincent Navarro, no? Just Taduran 2.0 with that uh, head movement and that footwork. Taduran keep coming forward, partner. Nice tip jab by Jake Amparo. These two fighters are leaving everything on the line, partner. Exactly. For their family, for everything. May nagsabi yung cardio daw ng dalawang fighter. Lintik daw, napakaganda ng cardio ng dalawang fighter na to. And you know why also? It's not because you're punching. It's because you're also absorbing punches in the yes. process. Yes. I, I, I'm very sure both of these fighters will be sore by tomorrow. But then again, you have to have the mental uh, fortitude to be able to execute what you need to do. Grabe naman kayo guys sa inaantok. Pwede naman kasi mag-taper off uh, in the 12 rounds, yes. ano? You can Napapagod din. <laughs> oh, para naman kayong hindi nagda-drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that left 
continuously connecting for Pedro Tadoran. Yeah, the short left and that upper right in the middle. Wow, these two fighters. What a great. Yung tinatawag nilang uppercut na alas dosing uppercut for Pedro. And Jake Amparo answers with upper hook. Wow. 30 seconds of this fight, partner. Yes, moving as if you wouldn't know that this is a 12 round dial sa the gas tank with nitong dalawang to. Pretty much respect for both fighters, partner. Both of them are Filipino warriors. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Ten seconds Final to go. Final round. Oh wow. That's the end of the bell. What a mutual respect, partner. Yes, uh, the coaches of both camps, Coach Carl Peñalosa, Coach um, Nino Halnay is sharing that uh, moment of sportsmanship. Both fighters give everything on the line, partner. Like I said, it will go down to the decision. Again, the three judges for this uh, IBF eliminator, one Japanese uh, judge, one, ju one USA judge, and one from Thailand. Definitely. And for those who are watching, of course, you're watching PMI Bohol Boxing Promotions, Kumong Bolanon 13. We are live here at the Bohol Wisdom School Gymnasium and we have come to the final bout of the day. Tsaka maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng umantabay at sumuporta dito sa Kumong Bolanon 13. Uh, I'm sure Marami pang Kumong Bolanon series ang darating sa atin. At um, bago matapos, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, what a way to end uh, boxing here Definitely. in the Philippines. Of course, this is Rika Aquino, one of your commentators today. And Alvin Esco of Real Fight PH. Maraming maraming salamat po for patronizing Recalvination, the tandem. Without thank you, thank you guys. Without... Without Rika, I will not be there. Without me, I think Rika will not be there. So we are, thank you, uh, thank you. are, are a team working, <laughs> continuously working uh, to be to be a good commentator for for, for all of you guys. And of course, salamat, salamat. patronize the page of PMI Boxing Stable and Kumong Bulanon TV on YouTube. Support Philippine Boxing. We come down to the conclusion, partner. So you can type in the comment section your uh, predictions as we await uh, the decision to be announced by our ring announcer. And yes, Happy New Year to all of you guys. Happy New Year! Tsaka dun sa cameraman namin. Maraming maraming salamat sa'yo. I know you work so hard uh, tonight and uh, thank you. Thank you, Ren. And of course, a big shout out to our promoter, Attorney Florizel Podot of PMI Boxing Promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, before we announce the official result of this title eliminator bout, let's give a round of applause to our two boxers who gave us an example of a championship heart of a Filipino champion. Okay, right now, ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds, a professional boxing, we now go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Sanong Om Im of Thailand scores the bout 116 to 112. Judge Jonathan Davis of USA scores the bout 119 to 109. Judge Naputo Ikehara of Japan scores the bout 118 to 110. And he is now the new number one ranked IBF in the world in the mini flyweight division and soon will be the mandatory challenger for the IBF world champion.
Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by a unanimous decision, Pedro Cardura. There you have it, Pedro, Kid General of El Ordefai team wins. It is now the number one mandatory challenger for the IBF World Minimum Weight title. Again, also congratulations to Jake El Bambino Amparo. Valiant effort, that toughness and the mental fortitude of this, this guy is something. But Pedro General is just the better man tonight. Aggression, uh, a newly found defense and a way of just cutting the